I'm sitting in Judges 8, verses 4. So I'm thinking, how in the world can you preach from just those few little lines, and, but no notes? Holy Ghost. I'm not a preacher. I'm just known for the right. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to say. It's good enough to find you in confidence. Preachers, you've got to be careful of those. No, those compliments. I'm trying to pat you on the back like you did so. They told me one time, she said, Ooh, you need to learn how to preach. I said, no thanks, because you, uh, I said, I never want to learn how. And later one time, she said, my God, you just got some wisdom to talk the word. I don't want it, I don't want it, you're trying to flatter me. And, blah, blah, blah. And, and she kept on making different statements. And, uh, and she said, boy, you just got it all together. That was her different statement. You got it all together. You just know what you do. I looked at her and I laughed. I said, ma'am, you have written me wrong. I said, it's just the opposite. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you don't learn this down in cemetery, I mean seminary, come on, stop. Amen. 
was speaking about the Messiah. Amen. He said, the Lord give me the tongue of the learned that I might speak a word in season to him that is weary. Morning by morning you will wake me. You will wake in my ear to hear as the learned. I was praying that scripture, God.
Jesus Christ is 
same yesterday, today, forever. Hebrews 13 today. He still works the same way. A lot of times we can't believe that way no more with us to go out there. Well, look at your neighbor and say, if you don't have faith in God, you've got to learn to get a little out there. I believe the ones that don't believe is a little out there. Come on, somebody. We've got to get a little in there. Praise God. Amen. He's God. He does supernatural things. He don't work according to the way he works. And God used just some material from a man's clothes. Even a woman with issue of blood, Luke 8, touched the hem of his garment. And from his clothes flowed power, come on, virtue, and she got healed. I know it don't make no sense. Jesus spit a man in dirt, making mud pies, and spit in the man's eyes, and he saw him. How would you like Pastor Joe to come in here tonight and go have a healing service and he had a bucket of dirt and he went and whack. <laughs> Most of them, yeah, yeah, you ready for baptism. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you know, I'll go to the pool of Siloam, but I'm going to bypass the, uh, <laughs> the road of hood. <laughs> went to sanitary. That was ridiculous, but it broke by the records. And I was preaching about that and I was using those calls and people were kind of hesitant. Some of them even come down and get a call. Thank you. 